Graham Gorringe is the son of a football icon. He was a very courageous, um, powerful and um, agile. He could run backwards out of a pack and sideways. Um, uh, everyone, everyone was amazed his agility and uh, strength and ball control. He always said, um, any fool can get the ball, he's giving it to someone else that counts. His dad, Horry, is considered one of Tasmania's greatest players. I met uh, Mark Rashuta, and uh, he was said that he, he, um, his grandfather played for Australia, cricket, football and cricket. And uh, he said that the um, best player he ever saw play was um, the dad. I couldn't believe it. Horry Gorringe passed away in 1994, long before Tasmania's latest push for AFL inclusion. He'd love to have a Tasmanian team there, but what he'd say was, it'd be money is a problem. The mainland want this and they want that and they want something else and they're never satisfied. The more you, <laughs> the more you give them, the more they want. But he did live to see Tasmania come of age in 1990. I guess that's the day that I thought, you know, if we've got our own AFL team, the whole state will come behind this, the whole state will embrace it. Scott Wade felt the power of the map firsthand as a player. Left foot snap. It was a team of um, not the greatest ever Tasmanian team, but we came together as a team, that's the point. And once, once Tasmanians come together as a team under the map, um, they do special things. Future state captain Ben Beams felt it as a young boy. It was instilled in you the, the map of Tassie and, and 1990. I was a 12 year old kid watching the game. Um, Dougie Barley kicking barrels, which, you know, at North Hobart, and it just, it was a great time. And yeah, that, that sort of instilled the, the map into me. Both have witnessed repeated pushes for Tasmanian inclusion into the AFL. My heart tells me that. If it doesn't go our way, we'll just keep persisting. Um, but I think the reality is this is potentially our last chance. It could be the latest in a long line of rejections. If you were to uh, put a team in to Tasmania, it would really have to be a team which would to our mind have to be relocated. The league's top administrators continue to rule out Tasmania being issued its own AFL licence. As far as we can see ahead, we're anticipating having a 16-team competition. Certainly we're not looking to issue extra licences. Our priorities for our, uh, going forward are the Gold Coast and Western Sydney, but that doesn't uh, rule out the possibility of Tasmania at some point in the future. The difficulty is the north-south issue in Tasmania, and that, that has to be resolved before I think Tasmania can be resolved. Beams going to try and make amends. Get the battle for Tasmania has been fought for as long as Ben Beams has been involved in football. I get frustrated with my mainland mates and, and they just don't get it, how our, our state needs this for our kids um, coming through so they can have the game. He believes the soul of the game in Tasmania is at stake. If it doesn't happen, um, I really worry for the, the state of the game um, and how many kids we're going to have playing uh, Aussie rules in, uh, in 10 years' time. Yeah, it'd be very sad. Tasmanian football's final stand. Chris Rowbottom, ABC News.